Medical marijuana is becoming mainstream. 21 states and the District of Columbia allow it. But until today, little was known about whether it can effectively treat neurological disorders. Dr. John LaPook reports on a new review of medical marijuana. 69-year-old Gloria Gates has multiple sclerosis. She can no longer walk and is often in severe pain. One thing that, that is just intolerable for me are these excruciating leg cramps. Powerful muscle relaxants didn't help. She now has a medical marijuana permit and uses an extract specifically made for her. I tried it as a last resort and it's, it's been an absolute blessing for me. Today, for the first time, the American Academy of Neurology said medical marijuana is an effective treatment for some symptoms of multiple sclerosis. It concluded spasm, muscle tightness, and pain can all be helped. That's when the drug is given as an oral spray or pill. There's not enough evidence to determine if smoking marijuana is also effective. Dr. Barbara Koppel is the lead author. There's lots of literature about smoking because that's what most people do, but it's all anonymous questionnaires and it's um, patient testimonials. As for other disorders, in Parkinson's, the panel found marijuana ineffective for treating abnormal movements caused by medications. The data was inconclusive for treating tics and Tourette syndrome and seizures in epilepsy. I have a feeling it's going to help epilepsy just because most of my patients have epilepsy and they, they tell me that uh, smoking marijuana helps them. But that's not the kind of evidence we could use for the guidelines. Since marijuana has been illegal in the United States, research into benefits and risks, such as cognitive side effects, has been severely hampered. In fact, there's only one federally approved source for study, and Scott, now medical marijuana is being made legal by state voters, not by the FDA. So it has not gone through the usual rigorous FDA approval process. John, thanks.